Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to subscribe. This is Uncle Lenny, your only uncle in town. You see guys, my channel is making sure that we promote every business. We talk about health matters, things that is happening around the globe. So today I come back again with a, a different topic. We we'll look about the things that we eat. You see, I'm inspiring people to have their gardens behind their backyards, to make use of the land that they have. So, but much as I talk about these things, I want to talk about the importance of us going back to the way we used to keep our seeds in the past. I'm, I'm talking about how we used to keep the seeds, or in short, to preserve the seeds for replanting the next season. This is where Uncle Lenny is coming in now. So guys, I don't know where you'll be watching this video from. If you'll be watching it in America, well and good. If you're watching into the continent of Africa, because that's where the center of my message is, that people that are in the continent, we should not uh, do away with the way we used to preserve our seeds. I remember when I was growing up, or when I remember when I was young, we used to uh, put aside a certain specific uh, seeds or a corn that we know that this is good and then we'll preserve it so that we can replant it the next season. I know that we are going so much uh, with technology, we want to, to divert from our usual practice and join this practice that have come in. But Uncle Lenny today is trying to, in, to encourage each and everyone that will be listening my message. Can we please go back the way we used to be in the past? Where we used to keep our own corn, our own seeds to go and plant it. I'll give you an example. You can go in now, find an orange. You grow, you, you plant that orange, you grow. You go, when the orange is ready, you're going to realize that in that orange, there's zero seeds in the orange. And what does that tell us? If you plant a tree, you plant an orange, and then the orange is ready, there's no seed. That's a part that I'm talking about, to making sure that we go back to have our own corns, we will go back to have our own uh, squash, to go back to have our own traditional way of living. And if you check about how the modern things have come, they will bring you seeds. When you plant that seeds, you can never take that seed to go and replant, replant it next year. And what I've noticed is that when they give you seeds, now they are even giving you chemicals on which you're going to have to spray in your land. So that you can, they are calling it weed killer. <laughs> I wonder where we are going from here. Let's look about the same land that you have given, uh, you have planted the weed killer. Do you think there is next season when you don't have that weed killer? What is it that you can produce? Because right now you are getting total dependence from these uh, chemicals that you are getting. You are getting uh, a GMO seeds that needs chemicals for it to grow or chemicals for it to, to with something but if you remember in the past we just used to get those same seeds supposing we have a, a, a corn in my language we used to we used to call it um uh, chintongwe uh, i think chintongwe yes if i'm not mistaken but i'm sure we still i still remember my language we used to call it chintongwe we'll keep those maize that we know that it looks good we are all going to just get the, uh, the, the ashes that are burned from the trees and then we put it in the water and then we take that same water and uh, splash it up on all the, 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 the maize that we want to keep and we are going to realize that we used to see that those maize will be okay until the next season. Those maize, you just take them up, go and open up the land, start planting. When you plant those maize, uh, maize eventually you're going to have a harvest from the same. And those maize, you know that this is organic. There's no chemicals added. So by the way, let me define what GMO means. GMO seeds means it's a genetic modified seeds that have been modified in the lab to contain specific trends using genetic engineering. So, when you hear the word GMO, 
Just know that these are the seeds that have been modified in a lab. Meaning they can put anything else they want to put in that seed. And remember that these GMOs in other part of the continent has been burned completely. Those seeds are not even allowed to enter. I'll give you the example of the European Union. European Union has waged a war against GMOs. Scientifically, it has proven that GMO food has got consequences when it comes to healthy. That's the reason why you're seeing all these kind of diseases that the world is facing now. But I wanted to urge you, you still have a chance or opportunity to return back to the way we used to live. So my mothers, my fathers, brothers and sisters that will be watching me, <laughs> please, I ask you to go back the way we used to live. Let's go back and look where we keep our corn. I remember in the past we used to get the, the corn maize and put it in a sack and tied it up in a house where there is smoke and other stuff like that. Those, may, those corn will be ready, will be okay until the planting season comes. Where have we gone wrong? Where are we missing it? We need to keep our tradition. We need to keep our values. The way we used to, the way we used to, uh, to keep our, uh, our sweet potatoes. We never used to put uh, sweet potatoes in the fridge. We used to get the, 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 the sweet potatoes, open a hole, mix it up with the ashes, those burnt ashes. You put it up in that hole and close it. That, co that those sweet potatoes, you can eat for the next six months. But I'll give you an example of this genetic modified uh, 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 things. You can buy a corn, so put it up. It will never go bad. You can buy a, a, a cocoa if it is it's, if it is genetic modified, it will never go anywhere. The question is, if you can keep something for months, it's not getting rotten. What kind of a chemicals that is still keeping it fresh? Question yourself. And supposing you consume that kind of food in your system, What is going to happen to your health? I want you to do your own research. That it's important to take care of your health. It's important to take care of your seeds. There's a lot of benefits if you can keep your own seeds. One, it will be cost savings. You won't be going to the shop to buy and buy and buy and buy. That money that you're supposed to go to the shop to buy, I'm sure you can use that money and put it back in your farm. Because you have the seeds already. So if we talk about farming, we should look at it the way we used to do it. If you go to the northern part of Zambia, you're going to see that they're still practicing the Chitemene system. The stamina system where you go and cut the branches up, the branches of the tree, bring them down, and then burn them. And that soil will be ready. That soil, you can plant any kind of seed you plant. You're going to have to harvest. There will be harvest on that same land. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about going, going back to our old practice of living. How are our forefathers manage to keep or plant their food that's what we need to go that's what i'm talking about but this modern way of making things is not making it easier for us rather is it making it easier for our healthy it is our health that we are putting online if we continue consuming these gmos scientifically it has proven gmo food will cause Health havoc. 
Because it comes with chemicals. Those chemicals, it goes in our bloodstream. Eventually we're going to have cancer. Eventually we have hypertension. Eventually we have diabetic. We wonder where, if you, if you, you check in your, your, your family line, you're going to realize that you never used to have certain kind of diseases. But because of the food that we eat, the things that we consume in our bodies, we have allowed a certain kind of a system that we have introduced in our blood, bloodstream. The goal of Van Colen is to have a family which is healthy. The goal of Van Colen is to educate people to go back to our normal practices. Nowadays we're thinking we'll just do it the way things are being done. I'm not, a, I'm not an advocate. I'm an advocate of going back to our normal practices. And sometimes you wonder, you may be wondering, what kind of these seeds that Uncle Len is talking about? You'll be wondering what kind of these seeds that Uncle Len is talking about. So the GMO, of, the GMO seeds can be a corn. It can be a soybeans, canola, papaya, zucchini, and squash. Where I come from, it's, I'm talking about pumpkins. That pumpkin can be uh, uh, modified in a lab. I know we used to keep our own pumpkins. You can open it up, take the seeds out, dry them up, keep them on the safe place. You can take that seed and go and plant. It will produce another zucchini. But let's take these seeds that you're going to give it to you. You plant, you eat a zucchini, you take that seed, you cannot be, it, cannot even, it, it cannot even come out again. I was listening to one of the uh, YouTubers in Kenya that they were saying, we are wondering that these seeds, if we plant it, it can come out. But remember that our seeds that our forefathers gave it to us, the forefathers, the seed that they left it in our generation, in our homes, in our families. When you have that seed, you can go back to the land, plant it. You're going to have food to feed your family. Where are we going wrong? Why are we adapting the system that is not ours? This system is not doing us any favor. The system that we are adapting of this genetic modified food is not taking us anywhere. As a result, it is costing us so much because we have to rush so much to the hospitals because of the food. So brothers and sisters, this is Uncle Lenny, your only uncle in town. When you are on my channel, you are at the right place because we educate, we speak as it is. I know I have my mothers in the village. I have my parents in the village. I hope they will also be going to listen to this video that let us go back. Vitanje vijatikari ya tika chenchena pakati, tachosamo mbeo mukati, tazikiri na kilina bwino bwino, tazisunga, taino shanga. Osa ti zache zungu zoku panga mulabu wa. Makazi panga mulabu ziyakine, zinina matenda. Dase nizo nawe maona makuli matenda yo siyana siyana. Kwa wena matenda yoko mba titikari yo nawe onapu, mudaba kuti matenda ya choka kuni. Matenda yo wena kamba kwa vintu, voku tukuli ya seo. The things that we consume in ourselves, that's where most of the sickness are coming from. So, seo seka, tenti zisungi na umoyo watu. Tenti sunge seka mbeo. Right now, we should be an advocate of making sure that it is zisungi na mbeo. Because if we lose it, we lose the control of ourselves. It means they will control us on what to eat. It will be controlled through the seed. But if we can have a separate seed of our own, it means we can choose what to eat. We have an option. We have a plan B. But if we don't have our own seed, meaning we have remained with no choice, but only to consume this GMO, which Uncle Lenny, he is not an advocate. 
I'm advocating to making sure that we eat a non non modified non genetic modified food. In short, it's called GMO. Here in America, they are calling it organic. So when you eat organic, it means you eat the food that has got no chemicals. I'm sure my people in the back home, you have a land. I'm sure you have a land where you can have food that is prepared without no chemicals. Let us go back to the normal practices where we have to make sure that we encourage people, encourage people to keep their own seeds, encourage people to go back to the land and making sure that they plant food. Because if we don't take charge, by the year 2026, we are talking about the high, uh, high prices of food this year. Wait until next year. Next year, it will be waste. Because one, the African continent itself, there's a drought. There's a drought, so it's important even for our people to look for a non-drought uh, resistant seeds that you can plant so that you can have something to feed your family. So meaning next year, the, the prices of commodities on the market will be very high, meaning we have to go back to our basics. That's the reason why Uncle Lenny is here this evening to making sure that we go back and making sure that we keep our own seeds. So brothers and sisters, let me know what you think about this topic. Leave me a comment in the comment box. Make sure you share this video with your friend. If you have parents that cannot even understand what I'm speaking, please find time to uh, explain in details on the language or the language that our parents can understand about the importance of keeping our own seeds. Brothers and sisters, I'll see you in the next content. <laughs> because Uncle Len is on the move to showcase exactly what is happening in the world. I love you guys. I'll see you next. Bye.